hello guys today we are going to learn the classification of carries so we have the six types of carries they are class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 class 5 and class 6 so let's get started so the first carries is class 1 carries it include all pit and fissure carries here in the molar region we can see a lot of pit and fissures pit is like the pinpoint and fissures is the the lines so if the restoration is done and any of the pit and fissures here here anywhere then it is considered as class 1 carries also also restoration done on the occlusal surface of premolar and molar tooth so these are the occlusal surface of molar tooth also and if the restoration is done in any of this area then it is considered as class 1 carries also class 1 carries include the restoration on the occlusal two-third of facial and lingual surface of molars so let's consider this is a let's divide the crown into three equal halves so this is the occlusal third, first second and third so if the carries is present in the occlusal two-third so this is one two up to here if the carries are present anywhere here then it is class one carries similarly goes on the lingual side so this is a facial side and here we have the lingual side so if the carries is occur at occlusal two-third up to here then it is class one carries and also class one carries include the restoration on the lingual surface of the maxillary incisors so here we have the maxillary incisor and if the restoration is done on the lingual surface or palatal surface of maxillary incisor then it is a class 1 carries so here are the examples of class 1 carries as we can see the class 1 carries are the carries on the occlusal surface so the here we can see the carries on the occlusal surface and also here on the occlusal surface of molars and premolars so this is a class 1 carries so also it include the occlusal two-third so if the carries occur in any of this area it is class 1 carries so the next one is class 2 carries class 2 carries include the carries on the proximal surface of the posterior teeth so here we have the posterior teeth these are the posterior teeth so proximal surface are in between the teeth if carries occur in between any of these teeth so here here and even here so if the carries are present in any of these teeth in between them they are called class 2 carries this is the example of class 2 carries so class 2 carries are the carries on the proximal surface of molars and premolars that is posterior tooth so this is the proximal surface here and the carries has occurred in the proximal surface so this is the example of class 2 carries you can also see this is the carries on the proximal surface also in the graph you can see the carries on the proximal surface so this these are the examples of class 2 carries and class 3 carries is the carries on the proximal surface of the anterior teeth so here we have the anterior teeth they are these are the anterior teeth so if the carries are present in between the teeth here 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 anywhere and if if they are present in the proximal surface of the anterior teeth they are called class 3 carries these are the example of class 3 carries class 3 carries as you can see carries are occurred in the proximal surface of anterior teeth so these are the class 3 carries also in the radiograph class 4 carries include carries on the proximal surface of anterior teeth and that involves the incisal A's so let's take a tooth for example so if the carries occur here this would be class 3 right but if the carries occurring here extend all the way up to here so the carries occur here and it extend all the way up to here and involve the incisal A's too then this is class 4 cavity so it can occur on the both side so if the carries occur anywhere here and it extends up to the incisal A's then this is a class 4 cavity this is the example of class 4 carries so carries here you can see carries it has occurred in the proximal surface here also it involved the incisal A's and here 
the carries has affected the incisal A's. So, classified carries include the carries on the gingival third of facial and lingual surface of all teeth. So, any carries on the gingival third of all teeth, they are classified carries. So, let's take a tooth for example. So, this is the central incisor. So, if let's if we divide the crown into three equal halves, then this would be the gingival third as it is near the gingiva. So if the caries occur anywhere here, then it is called class 5 caries. This is the facial surface. So it applies as well as on the palatal surface. Gingival third. If the caries occur anywhere here, it is called class 5 caries. This is the example of class 5 caries. The caries that occur in the gingival third. So here the caries are present near the gingiva. Here, here. So this is the example. So the last one is class 6 caries. So it includes the caries which are present at the tip of the cusp of posterior teeth as well as on the incisal edges. So if the caries occur here, these are the incisal edges of anterior teeth. So if caries occur here or if the caries occur in the posterior tooth, at the tip of the cusp so these are the tip of the cusp so if the caries are occurred here then it is called class 6 caries the example of class 6 caries are here so you can see the caries on the tip of the cusp see here so these are the example of class 6 caries